Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are talking about the brand new cheek palette from NARS. This is called Orgasm on the Beach. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So as many of you know, I now have an online beauty consulting service, which is where you get to chat with me one-on-one -on -one and just talk to me about any beauty questions you might have, whether you wanna talk about the collection you already have, which items work for you, or if you're looking to buy new items but you want unbiased advice, that is where my service comes in. So if you wanna make an appointment, click the link in the description box down below. Now, the orgasm on the beach palette here. So I talked about this recently in a will I buy it video and I sounded pretty unconvinced. I'm new to the world of face palettes and then just six cheek colors in a palette. I really wasn't certain about it. However, to my surprise, I was sent this in the mail in PR from NARS Cosmetics. So clearly someone was watching and thought, you know what, why don't you go ahead and try it? So this video is not sponsored, but they did send this to me for free. So I'm gonna go ahead and test it out with you guys here. So the palette here retails at 78 Canadian plus tax. It is brand new and also limited edition. And in total, this palette here is three grams of product. So while there are a lot of colors, you don't get like a huge quantity of product. So if you have a giant collection already, that might be a plus or a negative, depending on what you have and what you want. So when I first saw this, I thought that this was two highlighters, three blush and a bronzer, but this color here looks a little bit different. Let's go over the swatches from left to right. So the first one on the top left corner is Turtle Bay, which is a really beautiful, almost like candlelit glow champagne highlighter. Then we have Naples, which gives more of a bronzy gold finish. I think this palette could be very flattering for a lot of different skin tones. And I will go ahead and use this on my eyes as well. I know that this is marketed specifically as a cheek palette, but I like to use these big palettes for everything on my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it as eyeshadow later. Then we have Mandalay, which is the bronzer question mark. As you can see, it has a lot of red and warmth to it. So it could be a bronzer or it might just turn too red depending on the skin tone. Then back on the bottom row, we have here Montezuma, which looks like a beautiful iridescent blush. There is a lot of shimmer here, but it looks like a very beautiful mixture of blush and highlighter. And I love the peachy coral warmth. Then moving on, we have the iconic signature orgasm here, which looks much more pink. It still gives you that beautiful peachy shade, but more cool toned, especially compared to Montezuma. And then our last color here is Zuma, which looks like such a beautiful, powerful, shimmery red blush. So the first color I want to try is Mandalay, this possible bronzer color. It looks pretty red on me. I could try maybe just like a hint of it and we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to go in very lightly into Mandalay just to see what the effect will be. And maybe what I'll do is I will do like half a face with certain colors and then the other half with the other colors just to use as much as I can. And I'm also going to list all the brushes that I used today in the description box down below. So let's see. This looks very orange. I think it definitely is more of a blush on me. I thought it would be a bronzer, especially just from the photo. It looks like a bronzer, but I mean, it's not bad. It just looks like red <laughs> more than anything else. Actually, I don't know. It's not my ideal bronzer color, that's for certain, but it's not that bad. I think this is really going to depend on your skin tone, whether or not this works for you as a bronzer. 
All right, let's go into Montezuma because this is definitely my type of color. I love these warm blush shades. So I'm gonna go into this one here. This applies really nicely. You can see that there is that glow to it. So you really can't be shy when it comes to this more satiny, glowy finish. I don't wanna say like sparkle because it's not like a chunky glitter, but you are going to get that beautiful glow. And now let's go into Orgasm. I'm really curious how this compares to Montezuma because I always thought that Orgasm was peachy, but compared to Montezuma, it looks more pink. What's interesting is that I know for a lot of people, Orgasm is like the classic cult status blush, but I think I prefer Montezuma. It's warmer, it sort of just melts into my skin tone and complexion a little bit more. I think Orgasm stands out a little bit more. I think the highlighter looks more pearlescent in a way, like a pearlescent iridescent shine. And here on Montezuma, it's a little bit more golden and warm. It's nice to have both colors, so depending on your mood, depending on your makeup and your outfit, you could pull a little bit more cool toned or more warm toned. And I think when we just swatch them like this, we can see that standout difference a little bit more as well. I suppose that in the reflection here, we do see similarities between the two, but I'm finding that in person, I'm seeing a difference, like definitely much cooler over here than on the Montezuma side. Now let's go into Turtle Bay and Naples here, side by side, because I wanna see how these will fare. So Turtle Bay will go over top of Montezuma because that's how it's laid out here. You definitely do get that beautiful candle lit glow, but I have to say that these blushes here already do have that natural glow to them. So it's definitely going to like enhance that beauty. And now a bit of Naples, and I'm gonna put this over top of Orgasm. I don't think this is working for me as a highlighter. It's almost more of a cheek or blush topper because it is darker on me. I'm just going to blend this in with the blush. If you have a darker skin tone than me, Naples will work for you as a highlighter. But for me, it's like a blush topper. It's not going to give that same luminous bright finish that Turtle Bay did, but you can still work with it and blend it together. Now as eyeshadow, I'm going into Mandalay here with a big fluffy brush because this does look like a good transition color. And I did prime my eyelids off camera with the NARS eyeshadow primer. So since I haven't gone into Zuma yet, I'm going to use this as my eyeshadow. I then went back into Mandalay with a more pointed blending brush just to blend both the Mandalay and Zuma shades together. And then using my finger, I'm gonna go into Montezuma and just put it on the mobile lid here. And then Turtle Bay will be my inner corner highlight. Okay, so as you can see, as eyeshadow, this does work really lovely. I like mixing the colors together because at first it was turning very red, but I think adding this beautiful blush on top makes it work nicely. I know that this is marketed solely as a cheek palette, but when I see a big palette like this, I think full face. 
So what are my thoughts on this palette here? I think that this is very beautiful. I think the finishes are nice. I think they all work lovely. They blend together, very easy to use. However, I do wish that this shade here was more of a true bronzer. It looked okay on me, but I definitely think it would have turned more red and yeah, just really warm orangey red if I kept adding more. So I do wish that this was solely a bronzer not yeah just not as red i think it would look more complete to me if this was a palette with three blushes two highlighters and a straight bronzer just to compare a swatch here i have the dior forever natural bronze number five which is a warm bronzer so let me just swatch it next to that one there from nars yeah, I mean, this is the Dior one over here, and obviously NARS is like this terracotta, warm, reddish color, so it's just way too warm, I think. If you are thinking of purchasing this palette and you want to use it as a multi-use product, do a full face essentially, except for the bronzer, you will have success because these colors blend very easily they apply really nicely not only as cheek product but also as eyeshadow i think it looks really lovely i do like this look that i created i think it's a little bit warm a little bit peachy a little bit orange i think it's really lovely so the colors that i think i will use the most on my skin tone are these two bottom blushes here obviously especially this orange one i love it the highlighter on top of course and then these colors here i think i will often use more as eyeshadow i think this zuma red shade i could use as a blush as well but it'll just take more time to use and a little bit more time blending and application i think it is a lovely palette the textures are so nice and creamy and buttery and so blendable together i just wish that the bronzer was a better option and that way it would be a complete palette for me i think that this is a good product i think it really depends on you what you have at home i know for some people they collect these nars cheek palettes this is like a new world to me but if you like nars quality if you like nars colors i think you will get a lot of use out of it and it is nice that this can be used by many different skin tones. Like if you have much darker skin, you will be able to use this very nicely as well. So let me know what you think. Have you picked up the NARS Orgasm on the Beach palette? Are you planning on getting it? Are you skipping it? Sound off in the comments down below. If you're new to my channel, I highly encourage you to subscribe. And you can also hit that notification bell on the side to be notified whenever I post a new video. So on that note, I think this is it for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.